Okay, I want to talk a little bit about calcium, and I want to make an interesting point here. You see, pre you see calcium prescribed once a day all the time. Um, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen it prescribed twice a day, but it should never be prescribed once a day. It should always be prescribed twice a day if it's for supplementation. Um, and I'll talk about why in just a second. But first off, we understand what calcium's for. We know the role that it plays in bone health. Uh, we know its relationship with vitamin D. In order for calcium to get into the bone, it needs vitamin D to get it there. You can put all the calcium you want in the bloodstream, um, but it's not going to get into the bone unless it has vitamin D to get it there. And there's other nutrients that it needs to get it there, too. Phosphorus is one of them, magnesium is one, um, and there's other ones. But vitamin D is the main one, and that's why vitamin D and calcium are always put together. Um, so we know its role in, uh, in bone health, but calcium does play, play a role in other things. It um, plays a role in the function of your heart, in the function of your nerves, uh, function of your muscles. So it, it does play a role in a, in a number of things in your body. It's not just bones. About 99% of the calcium is in your bones. About 1% of calcium is in your bloodstream. Um, what's in front of you is just a visual representation of how how the calcium works throughout the day, and calcium moves in and out of your blood, um, or in and out of your bone or blood, I guess you could say too, um, throughout the day and throughout the night. Um, but for the most part, during the day, when you get up and you're moving around and you're putting you're putting physical stress on that bone, um, it's it's moving the calcium from the blood into the bone, and that's a fundamental of why exercise is so important. Um, when you're putting physical stress on a bone, you're keeping the calcium in the bone, you're, you're getting the calcium to move back in. Um, and then if we look at night, what's happening with immobility, and this is the fundamental of why immobility isn't good, um, but at night that calcium is going to seep out of the bone and go into the bloodstream. Um, so this is why calcium should always be prescribed twice a day. If, it's, if you need supplementation um, of calcium, you should be taking it once in the morning to help you, you can get it in the bloodstream and then help push it into the bone, and then at nighttime you need it in the bloodstream. And if you take it in an oral form, it can just get into the bloodstream right away. Um, so that's why calcium should always be twice a day, but it's very rarely prescribed that way. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was biphosphonate drugs. They're good drugs. Uh, they do work. Um, you have to the physician, of course, has to weigh the benefits. Um, versus the risks of them. But I want to talk about how they work because it's an interesting point um, and understand what, they, what they're really doing. Uh, biophosphonate drugs are really calcium reuptake inhibitors and what that means is they're stopping this process from happening. So calcium can get from the blood into the bone, but it's trapped there and it can't get out. Um, you know, does it does it work well for osteoporosis? Absolutely, it's a good drug, but um, you know there are risks involved with it when you're trapping when you're trapping calcium in in the bone because that's essentially what's happening. Um, of course, Fosamax is one of the most popular biphosphonate drugs out there. Um, okay, I think that's everything I wanted to cover there. Um, if you have questions about this, let me know. Uh, if you have questions about biphosphonate drugs, we could certainly talk more about that. Maybe I'll make another video on that.